welcome. I'm Brittany Simmons and today we're going to do a vinyasa power flow. So oftentimes we neglect ourselves so congratulations for taking the time to come to your mat and give your body some self-love. So that's what today is all about is not taking this time for granted and using this time to Love yourself and love your body and show it some gratitude. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and connect with our breath. Place your right hand over your belly, left hand over your heart or your chest. Notice your current breath. Is it quick or is it already slow? You can close your eyes. Sit up tall, make sure you're sitting, both sits, sits bones firmly, evenly on the mat, and lengthen up through the crown of the head, your neck is neutral. Begin to deepen the breath, as you inhale, expand the belly, lift the chest, lengthen out through the crown of the head, send the breath all the way up. And as you exhale, melt it all down. Pull navel towards the spine. Inhale, fill up. And pause at the top. And exhale, let it go. Inhale. And exhale. Continue this for three more breaths at your own pace. Maybe begin to activate your ujjayi breath, seal the lips and breathe in and out through the nose. Let's go for one more round of breath. And when you're ready, bring both hands down, palms face down by your sides. Inhale, sweep the right hand hot, and exhale, fold over to the left. Extend the heart through. Take your gaze up or down, whichever feels best on your neck. Inhale, lengthen up. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold over to the right. Inhale, reach long up, high to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take a falling out breath. Breathe in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Let it all go. Inhale. And exhale. Continue to connect with your breath throughout the practice today. Let's come into tabletop position, all fours. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. Come onto the tops of your feet, or if it feels better, you can tuck your toes under. Send the navel towards your spine. Make space between the shoulder blades and lengthen out through the crown of the head. Ready? Let's go through a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, take your gaze up. And exhale, round the spine. Let go of all of your breath. Inhale, drop the chest towards the mat. Send the hips up. Exhale, round the spine towards the sky. Inhale, cow. One last round, inhale, and exhale. Come to neutral tabletop position. Step the ball of the right foot back into the mat. Press it back towards the back of the room. 
you're ready, inhale the right leg high, square hips, squeeze thighs together. When you're ready, reach the left fingertips towards the front. Nice long line of energy extending from fingertips through the heel. Turn the palm face down, turn the right toes out, and exhale, bend the left elbow back, bring the right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend, crunch in. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, turn back to neutral and drop the foot down, coming back to tabletop position. Sway the hips side to side. And step the left foot back, press the ball of the foot into the mat, neutral spine. Inhale, float the leg up, square hips, navel to spine. When you're ready, reach the right fingertips long in front of you. And turn the right palm down, left toes face out. Exhale, right elbow comes back, left knee draws towards the left elbow. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, bend, crunch in. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, crunch in. Inhale, lengthen, turn toes and palm back to neutral and come back to a tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, and exhale, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Begin to pedal your feet out, bend one knee, then the other, neck in line with spine, press into the mat with your fingertips. And widen the feet out towards the edges of the mat, and reach your right hand towards your left calf for a twist. And come back to neutral spine. Let's go to the other side. Reach towards your right calf with your left hand. And twist. And bring both hands back down, walk hands your feet back in towards each other. Inhale, come up to tippy toes, lift the heels high, and exhale, roll forward. Sorry. Roll forward to a high plank here. Send the heels back, shoulders stacked over wrist. Press into the mat with the fingertips. Make some space under the palms. Lift up the hip just slightly engage the core and exhale hips high downward facing dog slight bend in the knees at all times inhale to be toes exhale bend bear pose send the chest towards the thighs neck in line with spine hips go high and inhale roll forward into high plank round the spine and then lengthen out long through the crown of the head. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time, inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, bear pose, chest towards the thighs. Inhale, roll forward, hop plank. Take your gaze out. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tippy toes and begin to inch your way forward with straight legs, hips high, walk towards your hands all the way at the front of the mat, heel to the feet, hips distance apart, and begin to ragdoll here, grab opposite elbows, bend in the knees, sway side to side, And when you're ready, heel toe the feet back to touch. Inhale, flat back, long spine, pull the navel in, lengthen 
lengthen out through the crown, shoulders roll down and back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the hands high to the sky. Upward salute. Exhale, palms touch, hands to heart center. Bring your hands above your head, grab opposite elbows, widen the feet back out. I'm going to face you for this. And you can close your eyes if you would like. Tilt over to the right, send the hips to the left, heart comes through. And exhale as you begin to fold down. We're making a circle here. Fold all the way down, hang here, deep bend in the knees. And when you're ready, come up towards the left. Inhale. And come back to center. Let's go to the other side. Press it over to the left. Send the hips slightly to the right. Knees are slightly bent. Exhale as you begin to fold down, circling down towards the ground. Hang here, pause here. And inhale, circle back up to the right. Come up to standing. And I'll meet you at the top of your mat. Hands to heart center. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, sweep the hands high. Pull the navel in. Exhale, fold all the way down. Uttanasana, let the head hang heavy. Knees can be bent the entire time. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can come to shins, to your thighs, or fingers can be facing down. Plug your shoulders back. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back. Drop the knee down. Come to the top of the foot. Inhale, sweep the hands high for low crescent lunge. Send the hips back just slightly, tuck the hips under, and then shift forward slightly. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest up. And then drop the hands behind you, interlace fingers, roll the shoulders back, send your heart, your gaze up. Inhale, back up, plant the palms, untuck the back toes, lift the knee, step back, high plank, and pause here for a moment. We're going to go through our first vinyasa option to drop the knees down. Inhale, shift forward slightly over your wrist. Exhale, squeeze the elbow, slowly lower all the way down to the ground. Widen the feet out, bring fingertips out wide, bend the elbows back. Inhale, lift the chest up, peel up off the mat. Exhale, down, let's do that one more time. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, down, bring hands next to your chest. Feet come in towards each other, tuck the back toes under, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, bear pose. Bend the knee. Look to the front of your mat and walk, step, or hop towards the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step the left foot back. Drop the knee down. Come to the top of the foot and sweep the hands high for low crescent lunge. Sit the hips back slightly. Tuck the hips under and melt back forward. Exhale, cactus the arms. Open up the chest. And bring hands behind you, clasp your hands together, roll the shoulders back and open up. Roll your head.
head around, whatever feels good, still warming up. And shift back forward. Plant the palms, lift the back knee, step back, half plank. Let's go through another vinyasa. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in, lower down as slowly as you can. Option to come into cobra. Zip the legs up. Inhale, peel your chest off of the mat. Shoulders come back. Exhale, down. Tuck the back toes, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high, square hips, squeeze thighs together. Toes can be jointed, flex, pointed, whatever feels good for you. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, sweep the leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. See if you can lift your knee up even higher. Press the floor away. And step the foot through between your hands. Spin the back heel down and inhale, warrior two. Back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Send your right knee up just slightly so it's in line with about your middle or your pinky toe. Opening up the hips. Melt the shoulders down. And take your gaze over your front right hand. And if you'd like to sink a little bit further, really strong, squeeze the glutes. And exhale, windmill the palms down, frame the foot for a high lunge. Let's plant the left palm Bend the heart open to the right. Reach the right hand high for a twist. Square hips to the front. Take your gaze wherever it feels good. If you want to, you can turn your thumb down and drop your hand behind you and open up the shoulder. And inhale, reach back up. Exhale, plant the palms down. Let's go through a vinyasa flow. Option to take Ekapada, floating the right foot. So step back either to high plank or float the right foot. Exhale, lower all the way down. Come to the tops of the feet. Inhale, upward facing dog. Option to stay with Cobra. Otherwise, lift the knees, press the mat away. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg high. Square hips, send long line of energy through the left foot. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze, crunch it in. Inhale, sweep the leg high. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, crunch it in. Lift the knee higher towards your nose. And exhale, step the left foot through. Spin the right heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Pause here for a moment. Back foot is parallel. Left knee is out just slightly towards the outside of your pinky toe. Melt the shoulders back. And if you want to sink a little bit further, and breathe. And exhale, windmill the palms down. Frame the foot. Plant the right hand and spin the heart up into the left. Reach the left hand high. Hips square to the front. If you did on the other side, bend the left elbow and drop the hand behind you and roll the left shoulder open and up. Take your gaze down if that feels better or take it up. 
Inhale, reach the left hand back high. Exhale, frame the foot. If you took Ekapada on the other side, mirror that. Step back, float the left foot. Shift forward, exhale, lower slowly. Hover off the ground, come onto the tops of the feet. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the hips up so you don't dump all of your weight into your low back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Make your way to the front of the mat. Maybe a little baby hop this time. Option to float up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, come into chair pose. Sit the hips back. Swoop, scoot the low belly in. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart up. And exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Come onto your bottom. And roll all the way back into plow pose. You can just bring your hands to your hips and pause here, or flip all the way over and hang out here. Just a moment. And on your exhale, we're gonna roll back up. Coming into chair pose. Let's try that one more time. Come onto your bottom as slowly as you can. And exhale, roll over. Plow pose. And inhale, roll back up to standing. Hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the hands high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, take a vinyasa of your choice option to handstand or hop back. So I'll hop back. When you're ready, bend the knees and hop that chaturanga arms whenever you hop back. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, step it through, coming into warrior two. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, drop the left hand down, sweep the right hand high, reverse warrior. Maybe sink a little bit lower. Inhale, come up, straighten the front leg, coming into trikonasana. So inhale, shift forward. Exhale, tilt down. Arms come out into a T. You can bring your right hand to your shin and lift up. So you wanna lift your heart up and open. And inhale, come back into warrior two. Turn both feet parallel to the left. Inhale, reach the hands high, star pose. Knit the low ribs in. And exhale, heels turn in, elbows bend, knees bend, goddess pose. Let the elbows fall back. Inhale, back to star pose, parallel the feet. And fold all the way down, wide-legged forward fold. Let your head hang heavy towards the mat. Option to walk the hands through, letting your head melt further towards the mat. And walk the hands back up underneath your face. And ninja lunge to the left, bend in the left knee, straighten the right leg, and flex the right toes. Use your left arm to press into your left thigh, opening that hip up. If you 
want to, you can reach your right hand high to the sky. And bring the right hands down, walk over to the right, ninja lunge on the right. Press into the right thigh and spin the heart open, reach the left fingertips up. Walk back over to the left side. Maybe this time bind. Sweep the left hand out and around behind your back. And reach the right hand high. Turn the thumb down and drop it down behind your back. Maybe connecting hands or just let it hang there. Spin your heart open. And bring both hands down. Let's switch over to the right. Bind on the right if you did on the left. So reach the right hand out. Spin the left palm up. Sweep around your right hand towards your back. Turn the left thumb down and drop it behind your back. Connecting hands, open up. Engage the core. And bring palms back down, spin around to frame your right foot, plant the palms, step back and go through your vinyasa flow of choice. I'm going to take Ekapada. So inhale, shift lower, exhale, lower down, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, the right, the left leg high, excuse me. And exhale, step it through warrior two. And come up, sink down. Exhale, bring the right hand down, sweep the left hand high. Inhale, come up, trikonasana. Shift forward and exhale, fold down. Fingertips can touch the mat or rest on your shin. Reach the right hand as high to the sky as you can. Take your gaze down if that feels better on your neck. And inhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, star pose here. Exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, reach back up, star pose, parallel the feet. Exhale, fold all the way down. You can bring your head to the mat and take a headstand, tripod, or however you'd like to. If not, just let your head hang heavy towards the mat during this time. And breathe. When you're ready, plant the left palm down in front of your face. Spin the right hand open to the sky. Turn the right thumb out. Maybe drop the hand behind your back. If you want a little core challenge, reach the left hand to the right side. And exhale, fold down. Hang here for just a moment. And let's take a twist on the other side. Plant the right palm down in front of your face. Spin the left hand open to the sky. Turn the left thumb out. Bend at the elbow, bringing your left hand behind you and maybe reaching the right fingertips towards the left for a core challenge here. Engage the navel, pull it in towards your spine and breathe. And exhale, come out, come back down to the mat. Walk the hands over and frame your left leg, your left foot. And let's step back, take a vinyasa, maybe ekapada if you did on the other side. And let's 
we in a downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, pull it in. Lift the knee as high as it can go. Inhale, reach the leg high. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Pull it up as high as it can go. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, cross it over, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, step it through for pigeon. Drop the left foot, right foot down. Bring the right knee outside of the right palm. Come on to the top of your back foot. If you sickle your foot like I do, you can stay on the tops of the toes. And begin to let your hips melt towards the mat, hips square to the front. If this hurts your knee, you can take supine pigeon rolling onto your back and making a figure four with your legs. When you're ready, begin to walk your hands out. If you'd like to take it further, melting your chest towards the mat. And breathe here. Continue going as far as you would like to go. And let's take a twist here. So reach your left hand out long in front of you and bring your right hand underneath the left, coming onto the right shoulder. Just using your left palm to press into the mat and open up the chest underneath the left arm. And come back up to center, slowly walk your hands up. Plant your right palm down, sweep around and grab your left foot with your left hand if you'd like to, and pull your left foot in towards you, hips square. Bring it down, tuck the back toes, slowly lift up into three-legged dog. Reach the right toes high to the sky. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. Begin to make circles here. And if you'd like to take wild thing, begin to slowly let your right toes fall over to the left. And keep a bend in the right knee. Inhale, reach the right fingertips long to the other side. And slowly roll back over to downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, pull it up high. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, cross it over to the right elbow. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, come into pigeon, left knee outside of the left wrist. Begin to walk back your right toes, letting your hips melt towards the mat. Square hips. Bring your left hip in line with your right. Tuck the back toes if your back foot sickles. And try to mirror what you did on the other side. Remembering this side may feel completely different. And mount your chest towards the mat whenever you're ready.
straight back twist. Plant the right palm long in front of you. Reach the left hand through underneath the right arm. Come on to the left shoulder, using your right hand to press into it. around and grab the right foot and just pull it in nice and gentle square the hips and exhale lower it back down slowly lift up into three-legged dog Stack the hips, open up, bend the left knee, and begin to make little circles here. If you took Wild Thing on the other side, slowly drop the left toes behind you. Coming into Wild Thing, open up the chest, reach the left hand long. And when you're ready, slowly flip back over into Downward Facing Dog. Last downward facing dog of our practice. Notice how a little bit differently you feel, maybe. And when you're ready, make your way into a comfortable seated position. I'm gonna face you, but you still face the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. When you're ready, you can make your way onto your back for Shavasana. Legs come out long, head is long, heavy. Palms face up by your sides, surrendering towards the mat. Letting gravity take over. Thank you for showing your body some gratitude today. Self-love. And take a few minutes for your Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.